Good morning and thanks for staying with us. This is um, Money Line with Nancy and I am Nancy Najib. Thank you all again uh, for uh, tuning in uh, to watch your number one business and finance uh, program in other country. Okay, happy International Women's Day to all women out there. To those of you that are making global impact as well as many women that think they are not being seen, or they are in their tiny or in the littlest of places making impact, embrace yourselves today. It is our day today, International uh, Women's uh, Day. Uh, we need to give ourselves our flowers as well as, you know, give ourselves a pat on the back uh, to mothers, to wives, to our sisters, to even girls that will be grown up women. Happy International Women's Day uh, to you all. Each year for International Women's Day, the United Nations uh, selects a team. This year is Digital Innovation and Technology for Gender Equality. UN Women also decided to focus on technology to honor the women and girls who are championing the advancement of transformative technology and digital education to encourage wealthy governments to allocate funds to address this issue. UN Women has called attention to the economic loss resulted from excluding women and girls in the digital space and STEM. STEM means science, technology, engineering, and maths. That's the STEM field. According to the 2022 UN Women Gender Snapshot, women's exclusion from digital world has shaved $1 trillion from the gross domestic product of the low and middle income countries in the last decade, a loss that will grow to $1.5 trillion by 2025 without action. If we come back here to Nigeria, women make about 50% of Nigeria's population. With the data that we have, the National Population Census, we conduct the data, and I hope I will conduct the census, and I hope that after that we will get the exact number of male and female uh, in uh, the country. But what am I saying right now? From the results of perhaps the National Assembly elections uh, that, we, that we saw last Saturday, it is really a very dismal report for women across the country. According to uh, some of the results that I've seen, I wasn't able to count about five women. I think what I counted was by three or so. Uh, in the Senate, that there would be Senate the 10th National Assembly. So it's like we're gradually declining. Is it that women are not competent or exactly what is it? But I know that my colleagues in the political, on political decks would talk about all of this. But what I'm trying to say today on the show is that women make up 50% of Nigeria's population. We are doing ourselves a whole lot of disservice if we do not include women in policy making across all sectors. Okay, it's the political season. Governorship and, and uh, state assembly elections will hold on Saturday. Majority of the governorship candidates have been campaigning, and even the presidential campaigns, you will see a lot of women. Women will wear shabby, they will wear too much. And you, at the end of it all, what policies would impact this set of women, or even bring us at the table? But a lot of arguments are there that if we are not being called to the table, we should construct our table and you know, construct our table and sit on it, or we'll bring along our chairs. But the issue is that Nigeria is doing poorly if you compare Nigeria to other, even African countries like Rwanda and even South Africa. With this 10th assembly, the coloration that I have seen, it's a very dismal one from the 9th assembly, even from the 8th assembly. So it's like we are just gradually uh, declining. Uh, the posture of the president-elect, I hope that perhaps when he uh, inaugurates his cabinet and all of that, perhaps we will see uh, women will be a bit persuaded uh, by what would happen in terms of getting women uh, to, at the table and perhaps important uh, positions uh, within uh, the cabinet. But it's uh, International Women's Day. So for you that is a woman watching me, mm, give yourselves a pat at the back because we don't do much of that. Uh, for men, men take a lot of you know pride in uh, this is who I am, this is what I'm doing. For women, we are like, we want to be so humble. Some people, uh, we don't want to be seen as arrogant and all of that, but today is your day. So embrace yourselves and let's embrace gender equity.